New Jersey's nursing shortage has led to understaffing in hospitals, even contributing to an ongoing nurses strike. It's nothing new. Nurse numbers have been on the decline for years, made worse by COVID. While well, one school is tackling the issue head on, creating the William Patterson University School of Nursing. Joshua Powers, provost and senior vice president of academic affairs, joined me to talk about it. Josh, so great to have you on the show. Now, you were really the driving force behind the creation of uh, the William Patterson School of Nursing. We know there's a teaching, excuse me, there's a nursing shortage in New Jersey, in the nation. How much did that shortage factor into the creation of this program? Well, thank you very much for having me to be able to talk about this important topic. Um, that nursing shortage was one of our primary reasons for, for doing this. Right now, the estimates are there are around 13,000 unfilled nursing positions around the state. Um, and we see tremendous opportunity and need to address that particular challenge. Um, we now have probably one of the largest nursing programs in the state, both at the undergraduate and graduate level. And we're just very excited about where the School of Nursing can take us to really leverage what we've built for even greater contribution to the state and the needs of the state. Let's talk about the program just a little bit. Tell us what the students who come through your doors are going to walk away with, whether it's a graduate or undergraduate degree. Sure, well, there's a couple of things that important to keep in mind. Uh, first of all, one of the ways we've built our the tremendous expansion has been on uh, through our WP online. So we launched a series of programs actually right at the start of the pandemic. Um, and those have grown uh, extraordinarily because they meet the needs of working professionals. So that particular component, which is also an affordable way to pursue a nursing education has just been an extraordinarily game changer for us. And the School of Nursing and the partnerships we've developed around it are gonna be able to allow us to leverage that some more, particularly in perhaps some of the allied health professions. Yeah, it's interesting because you could have made this just a nursing major, a nursing degree, but instead you dedicated a school to it and you leaned on uh, insight and, and expertise from some of New Jersey's hospital systems. Just talk about that process and, and what you gained from those conversations to better prepare these young professionals. Sure. Well, as uh, uh, anybody in the nursing area recognizes, the partnerships with area health providers is critical, in part because of the need for clinical sites where students can go have an opportunity to learn with, with in, in the hospital and all the things that go along with that. So we have very strong relationships, for example, right here in Wayne with St. Joseph's uh, Hospital System. It's been an incredible, incredible partner with us. Atlantic Health Systems has been another partner with us. They have a huge need for nurses, and we have a need to engage them for the, uh, around some teaching opportunities in our curriculum to be able to allow that to expand. And the School of Nursing and the framework of that with our new leader will allow us to do that. And just very quickly, do you anticipate that this program is going to help solve or at least majorly reduce the nursing shortage that we see? Uh, I, I'm not under the illusion it will solve the nursing shortage, but William Patterson is, I, I think we found the key things that make that possible. Yeah. Our biggest need is faculty. There's a faculty problem. We don't have enough faculty to deliver our programs. Um, but if we partner with the, with the health systems and allow nurses to be on our faculty, which is something we've worked very actively to do, and our School of Nursing will help us do even more, that's a key way to get the capacity to be able to do some of that. That's all the time we have. But Josh Powers from William Patterson University, thank you so much. You're totally welcome. I appreciate it.